Hello everyone, today I will show you how to render only the shadows, both on the EV render engine and the cycles render engine with a transparent background. I have not seen anyone else show this technique in EV, and I'm excited to share it with you how to render shadows with a transparent background in EV. Just for information, this method will be very useful in the compositing process. As you can see here, I have separated the object, the shadow, and the background. This allows us to have more control and easily adjust the shadow opacity. This technique also works with animation. Let's begin with cycle. Start with the default cube in place. Create a plane. Scale up the plane's size. Move the cube above the plane. Press numpad 0 to change to camera view. Press N to open the side panel. At this view tab, check this camera to view box. Then adjust the view angle for better visibility. Once done, turn off the box. Go to render properties. Change the render engine to cycles. And select CPU to GPU. Scroll down and find the film tab. Open the film tab and check the transparent box. Let's switch to rendered mode. Select the plane and go to Object Properties. Open up Visibility tab and check this Shadow Catcher box. Let's test render it. As you can see here, the plane already only displays the shadow. However, we need to make the cube invisible in the render while keeping the shadow on the plane. Now select the cube, press M and move it to the new collection. Then go to this filter icon and click it. Activate this indirect only icon. Finally, just turn on the indirect only button on the second collection where the cube is located. Let's render it, and we have success to render the shadow only in cycle. This shadow have a hard edges, and if you want to soften the shadow edges, you can just select the light. Then increase the light radius. We have done rendered the shadow with transparent background in cycles. Now it's time for Eevee. To make things a bit different, I will delete the default cube and use Suzanne instead. Move the Suzanne above and create a plane. Scale up the plane. Switch to render mode. Make sure the render engine we use is set to Eevee. Don't forget to open the film tab and check the transparent box. Select the Suzanne, go to Material Properties, and give it a new material. I named it Suzanne. Set the alpha value to 0 because we want it to be transparent in the render. Scroll down, set the blend mode to alpha blend. Split the screen into two screens. On another screen, go to Shader Editor. Select the plane and give it a new material. Delete the principal BSDF node. Let's create diffuse BSDF node. Create shader to RGB node. And lastly, color ramp node. Plug or connect them each other like this. Set the color ramp type to constant. Adjust the white color point. Now, if we select and move the light, the color ramp node is reacting to the light source. However, there's one problem. If we move the white color point too far to the left, all the shadow will completely disappear. We could leave it like this. But when we scale the plane significantly, a larger rounder black area appears where the light doesn't reach. Unfortunately, we cannot move the white color point to solve this, as this would also make Suzanne's shadow disappear. So let's fix this black area problem first. To do that, duplicate the color ramp node and create texture coordinate node. Create mapping node and create gradient texture. In the texture coordinate node, connect the UV output to the vector input of the mapping node. Connect the mapping node to the gradient texture. Set the gradient texture type to spherical. 
Connect the gradient texture to the second color ramp node. And connect the second color ramp to material output. For the second color ramp, move the black color point towards the center. At the mapping node, adjust the X and Y values to position the rounded color so that its center aligns with the center of the plane. Now create Mix Color node. Connect both of the color ramps to the Mix Color node. Connect the Mix Color node to Material Output. Move the black color point of the second color ramp to the right side until the black rounded shadow disappears from the plane. Be careful not to over adjust the black color point as this will also affect Suzanne's shadow. We need to maintain the black color of Suzanne's shadow while eliminating the unwanted black rounded shadow, so adjust it carefully. Once it's done, change the mix color type to lighten and set the factor to 1. Now as a result, only Suzanne's shadow remains on the plane as we want. Let's create last two node, the Mix Shader node and the Transparent BSDF node. Connecting them like this. Use the Mix Color Output as the factor to Mix Shader node. Lastly, connect it to Material Output. Don't forget to set the plane's blend mode to Alpha Blend. Finally, we have successfully rendered the shadow only with a transparent background in Eevee Render Engine. The shadow edges also can be softened by increasing the light radius. The shadow is fully reacting to the light source just like in Cycles. So, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and please support me by subscribe. Like, comment, and share for more video in the future. Thank you for watching.